When I was uh, 20 years old, I uh, interviewed, I was in an interview process for a job as a youth pastor. And as, as part of that process, they told me, put together your resume, okay? So at 20, how many you guys know at 20, you don't really have a resume, do you? 20, I didn't have a resume. So we're like trying to find, so I asked my father-in-law to help me put together a resume. And I'm like, what? what are, so we're thinking back of everything that's ever happened in my life. Like, what could we put on this resume? You know, I started walking, okay? What is that? Well, started a successful new enterprise. You know, let's put that on there. You know, I started to date, okay? I date successful at foreign relations, okay? Uh, anything, you know? And what happened is we came up with like five pages of a resume at this 20-year-old who had no resume whatsoever. So it made me look really good, a whole lot better than I actually was. Now, when it comes to life, what, when you're looking at your life, what do you think is some of the most important things that you could have in your life? Not necessarily on a resume, but with you to be successful in life. I'm going to talk about something today that really doesn't get talked about too much. Uh, but I believe, I would contend that this thing that you need more than anything else is this thing called the anointing. How many of you guys have ever heard of the anointing before, okay? Uh, the anointing. What, what is the anointing? Well, we've talked a lot about Saul and David recently. You know, Saul, when he was, I mean, he had a great external resume. The, the Bible says that he was head and shoulders above everyone else. He looked like a king. And so he was a natural fit to be a king. When God said, I want to find a king, they look at the external resume and they found Saul. They said, this guy has a great resume, but his internal resume wasn't so great. And here comes the prophet. The prophet anoints him with oil. And all of a sudden he could do some things that he couldn't do before. All of a sudden, Saul, King Saul, even though he had the great external resume, now with the anointing, he started to prophesy, the Bible said. So all of a sudden, he had this brand new authority and power on, on his life whenever he was anointed. David, on the other hand, had a horrible external resume. He was the youngest. He was not supposed to be, he would be the guy that would be picked last when you're picking teams. I mean, he was the youngest. He was out in the field. He had a horrible external resume, but how many of you guys know his internal resume was pretty good? And so when he got anointed, all of a sudden, years later, he gets anointed uh, to be king, even though it didn't happen for a while. All of a sudden, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon him, and now he had the courage to be able to go out, even though he was the youngest of, the, of his house, he had the courage to go out and to fight giants. So what was the difference? It didn't matter if you had a, a, a good external resume, or a bad external resume, or a good internal resume, or a bad internal resume. What was the difference in both lives? It was what? What? The anointing. Whenever this thing, the anointing happens, so we could say it this way, the anointing is greater than your ability. Or I could put it this way, the anointing, when you get the anointing, it's greater than your resume. Whatever you have as a resume, when you get the anointing on it, all of a sudden everything changes. 